reminds me again to remind you that we're talking about humanity in the lives of kids of color who were growing up in systems where teachers are being taught not about these children's humanity, but about their difference, about their being less than, about their being psychopathological and have basically been a part of a group that historically has been basically characterized in that way, although it's never officially said, it's always inferred, mm -hmm. which means that it makes it very difficult for kids to garner the support if it's not already there for cultural socialization to push back. And when mm -hmm. they push back by the time they're in, they're in adolescence, then we are afraid. So parental monitoring for me in terms of providing cultural socialization, my work suggests that it makes a difference. It means then that when kids are navigating space like Julian and something happens, they know what to do. They literally, in essence, imagine their parents on their shoulders telling them what to do, how to do it, and why. So there is a seamlessness in terms of learning and their development. So the point I want to make is that we, in terms of schooling, we can't isolate children's intellectual and cognitive functioning from their hearts. Yeah. There's affective development in terms of yeah. their hearts, but there's also the intellectual, and especially during adolescence, then you've got these huge biological changes that kids don't understand themselves. So think about it. We don't talk about their sexuality, we don't talk about the heinousness of the context, and we don't talk about the need for cultural socialization, and we leave these youngsters to figure it out on their own, and then we send them out to function like canaries in the mine, called yeah. the, America, the USA. Yes, thank and you. so it's no wonder we get these gap findings, and therefore I'm asking you today to be a part of an authentic solution, which is to address these issues frontally with kids, because we are still the adults and their children or even taller children as adolescents and it's our job to serve as a positive and um, I would say proactive context for their development uh, and learning 24-7. Thank you, Martin. Um, we are effectively out of time. And thank you both for being here. I will end with this notion, the lion story will never be known as long as the hunter is the one to tell it. That's right. Tell your story. Thank you. Thank, thank you, Margaret. Thank you, Walter. <laughs>
Teach them. Teach them God's way of love and caring and sharing. Teach them God's way of equity, equity and equality. Teach them God's way of love for all mankind. As, as we continue here. Equity for all. <laughs> 